Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to create custom single product page in WooCommerce. So let's just begin. All right. So to create the custom product page, the first thing that we need to do, we need to install the plugins. So for that, we have to go inside, add new plugin, and here what I need to do, I have to search for a plugin, WooLanter. All right. So as you can see here, we have the shop lantern here. So basically, they have simply renamed. The plugin from WooLanter to ShopLanter. So you can also write down the ShopLanter into the search bar. Okay, so after this, we have to install and activate this. So I have already installed and activated this, and you can see here the ShopLanter here. Okay, but before that, what we need to do, we have to go inside the templates and we have to click on the save templates. Okay, one thing that you have to make sure is that you have to install the Elementor if you want to use the templates here. Okay. So now what I can do here, I'll simply create a new template. So let's click on add new template. So this would be the page and the name would be product page and it will be customized product page. Okay, so let's click on create template. All right, so here what we need to do, we have to design our shop page. Okay, so since we have installed the shop planter, so we will be using the elements of the shop planter. So if I wanted to use the shop lender element so let me just close these options and now you will be able to see the shop lender options so in the shop lender options so we have the different options so in here you can see here we have the universal product layout we have the product tab and we also have the store features image marker faq and you can also see the bunch of different options here okay so the first thing that i need to do here is to add the product image so let's just search for the product image all right Okay, so we have the product image here. So before that, I have to add the two column structure. Okay, so I will simply click on here, add container, flexbox. So this will be the two column structure. And in here, what I will do, I will basically add the product image on the first one. So let's just write down product image. All right, so let's just drag this and put this here. So now you can see this, we have the product image here. Okay, and on the right side, I will search for product title. So you can see here we have WL here, which simply means will enter. So we have to drag this and put this here on our second column. All right. So after the product title, I would like to have a small description about my product. Okay. So for that, I'm going to write down description maybe. Okay. So we're going to use the product short description. So let's just drag this and put this here after the product title. And here you will be able to see the short description here. All right, perfect. So now what I need to do, I would like to add the price after the description. So for that, I will write down price. And you can see this, we have the product price. So let's just drag this and put this here. So this is the product price. And after this, what I need to do, I need to add add to cart button. So let's just drag this and put this here after the add to cart button. All right, so I think this is looking fine, but I still need to style this. Okay, so first we're going to start with the add to cart. So in the add to cart, we have the layout option only. So in the layout, we have the four different layouts. So let's click on the layout one and let's click on the layout two. Okay, layout three and we have the layout four. Okay, so I think I will go here with the layout two because I really like the design here. So now I will simply go into the style. Okay, so here in the style, you can see here we have the quantity, we have the button, and we have add to cart. So if I just click on add to cart, you will be able to see we have the background color, and we have the typography, and we have the text color. So I would basically like to change the background color. So let's click here, and I would actually go here a kind of greenish color. So let's go here with something dark. Okay, so this is looking perfect. All right, so this is looking perfect. And now what I need to do, I have to add the color on the hover effect. So let's click here on the hover. The background color would be the same kind of greenish, but it would be a kind of light color. All right. So now you can see this. This is looking better. Maybe we can go here on this one. Okay. So this is looking perfect. So in the similar way, I can change the border color and the text color as well. Okay. So we have the short description now. So I would actually like to uh, do the styling here so I can change the text color here. I can change the typography here. So I would basically go here with the text color. So I would actually use a kind of grayish color, not the complete black color. All right, so this is looking better. 
and I can also change the alignment from here as well if I wanted to but I think I would go here with the default one and uh, we can also go inside the advanced setting so for the advanced settings I would like you to explore this by yourself okay so after this we have the title so in the title I can actually change the HTML tag and after this we have the style so in a style we have some basic things the title color we have the typography and we have the alignment so I would like to change the title color here so that would be a kind of dark green color that we have okay so I think this is looking fine maybe a kind of dark color okay perfect and what I need to do I would like to do one thing here I need to add some spacing here at the top so let's go into the advanced settings go into the padding and I would like to add the padding at the top so this would be 50 maybe yeah this is looking better all right so after this what I need to do I will simply add one more container all right so now you can see here that our design is looking better now but I would like to add some things here so first I would like to add the rating maybe so let's just look for the rating okay so we have the rating here so let's just drag this and put this here uh, before the add to cart section all right so right now we don't have any rating that is why we can't see any rating here but I would like to put it like this and after this we can also do the styling here with the star color link color and also the alignment thing okay so after this I would also like to have the heading here so let's drag this and put this here so in the heading this would be like you may also like and after this what I can do here I can basically put the related products okay so let's drag this and put this after our heading now you can see this we have this related products so I would basically disable the heading and we have the related products here and we can also do some customization into it so you can see this we have the products per page so you can increase or decrease the number as well and you can also decrease or increase the number of the columns so I would go here with the five but I think the four were looking better okay so now this is looking fine and we can also change the products by the order by so, and we can also change the products by date and also the title price popularity and all of these options so I'd go here with the title and we also have the order so if you wanted to put this into the ascending order or the descending order you can simply change the value from here and if you go into the style so you can see this we have the style for the heading but since we have disabled the heading so that's not have any use for us okay and you can also explore the advanced setting all right so after the related products I would basically like to add the reviews or the testimonials okay so first I would actually like to add the heading I just drag this and put this here and I can write down okay so we are good here with our customers reviews so after this what I would do I would simply add the testimonial so let's write down testimonial and you can see this we have the WL testimonial so let's just drag this and put this here after the heading and now you can see this we have our testimonial here so if I wanted to change the text and the name here I can simply do this from here so you can see this we have the name we have the destination and we can also add the client image and I can add the rating here if I wanted to so here I would go here with the five you can see this we have added the five rating and you can also do this on the other option here as well okay and we also have the option of the columns here so right now you can see this we have the three testimonials here so I can increase the number of the column here I can also play around with the space in the bottom space here and let's see if we do miss anything in the testimonial okay so in the testimonial we also have the style so if I wanted to change the style I can also change the value from here and we have the review type so that is basically custom and if I wanted to change some styling I would simply go into the style and you can see this I can change the item from it I can change the styling of the image name designation client say and the rating so I would like to change the color of the rating here so that would be a kind of dark color dark green color okay this is the color that I would like to pick okay and I can also change the size of the rating you can see this I can increase or decrease the size but I would go here with the default value so this is how we can add the customers review as well and in the similar way if you wanted to add any other thing onto your product page onto your single product page you can simply do this okay so right now I'm satisfied with my design so what I will do I'll simply click on publish 
So right now we know that we simply created the Elementor template. So now what I need to do, I just need to go back into our WordPress dashboard and I have to select this template as the single product page. Okay. So now what I need to do, I would go inside the shop lender, click on it and you can see the option of the single product template. So here I just have to select the template and from there that would be the product page here, our customized product page. So let's click here. It's great. Click on save changes. Now click on visit store. Perfect. Okay. So when I just click on the product here, so if I just wanted to click on this product, I'll just simply click here. You'll be able to see your customized single product page in the WooCommerce. So this is how we can do this. So you can see the design here. And if you wanted to do anything else with your design, you can simply do that. So there is no restriction. And if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.